I don't think you're ready for this jelly. What is up, you guys? I'm going, I'm going. Hi. I have not started in the car in a very long time. Hola, como estas? Me llamo pinche Manny M.U.E. Anyways, guys, what is up? I'm a little hyper, not gonna lie. I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to Five Below for the first time ever. I've never been before in my whole life. And I believe it's like a discount store. It's almost like a Dollar Tree vibes, I believe. That's what Gulor told me. So I'm like, okay, I want up Gar. I saw that there's like makeup there too. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a full face using Five Below makeup. I don't know what kind of makeup's gonna be there. I'm very interested, I'm very intrigued about it. So I figured I would take you guys along with the journey with me to go to Five Below. Oh my God, your outfit is sick. He looked sickening. He really, really did. I wanted his fit for sure. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't watch. You want to square up? I'll just square up right now. No, I won't. I've never been in a fight in my life. Anyway, I love you guys. Let's go to Five Below. <laughs> I see it. Ew, my voice. <clears throat> I see it, y'all. Hey, I'm excited. I just made the connection. Five Below means cool stuff. Five dollars and below. I know I'm coming for makeup, but give me a second because I'm about to look at things. There's no way this is all under five dollars. There's no way. Just fucking snacks. All this tech for five dollars and b n uh, what? No. You kidding? I might be buying other things, you guys. There's a lot of things here that I don't need, but I want them anyway. Look at all these little char car charging ports. We have fucking screen savers. We have fucking creators. Oh my god, I need the store. What the fuck is going on? Okay, guys, we're getting into beauty. Okay, there's a lot of shit here. Do you guys see all this? I need to find a full face right now. Yo. Yo. Ooh, it wild. Sickening, I recognize that. But all of this, I don't recognize any of this. We're gonna try some shit today. Look at all these things. Oh my god, is there foundation? <gasps> no, please be foundation. Ooh, a contour kit. Maybe we can use that. I'm scared but I'm excited. Okay guys, so I just found this little golden sugar highlighting palette. I opened it, it looks so promising and stunning. Obviously it's been used, so I'm not gonna use this one, but I cannot find a single one in here. That's the same one. I'm devastated, because look, I swatched it. It's already used, so I feel bad. Like, wow. Y'all can't tell me that's not sickening. Okay, y'all, I'm looking for a blush. I see this contour and highlight palette, and I'm like, okay, cool, but it's completely shattered. Great. Oh, shattered again. Oh, what do you know, shattered again? Son of a, oh. Please no. <gasps> okay, you're my last hope. <gasps> Thank you so much, Manny out in the field. We are back at Manny in the studio, looking gorgeous as ever, if I do say so myself, and so were you. But we have our goodies now, you guys. I bought the entire freaking Five Below store, I really did. We are going to unload this load on the table. <laughs> There was a ton of Wet n Wild products there at Five Below, so I thought I would take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, but I just got this in the mail. This is the new Dewy one, and of course the Dewy one there is not at the store, but I thought this would be kind of a cool way to incorporate like a little review on this new foundation, because like, you know, I'm literally using a Wet n Wild one already. Why not try this out? Like, am I just a fucking thinker, dude? Price is already primed, and my face is already too light. <laughs> This is the Photofocus Dewy Foundation. It's not that light, it's like not terrible. This is in the shade Shell Ivory. What do you guys think? It's actually really pretty. It's going on really nicely. The coverage is nice, like medium coverage. It's building though, it's built pretty nicely. But I would definitely say that it's more of a, whoa. It smells nice. It's fragrant. Taking this on a Morphe M6 brush. I just feel like this is a little pink for me. Obviously it's a little pink. Even though it said neutral on the bottle, it said neutral. It didn't say pink, it said neutral. Mm -hmm. Watch that, this is probably actually my shade. And you guys at home are probably like, oh my God, man, you did it. You matched your shade. I just can't seem to accept it though. Okay, so since I have that, I'm gonna go and actually use this underneath my eyes as well as like my concealer, because there was no concealer there. We're gonna conceal and we're not gonna feel shit because we got a lot of Botox on our face. Yes, we do. This smells so strong, like, it smells pleasant. It's not like it's a bad smell. It smells nice. I'm just saying it smells like really more intense than I really thought this would be. How dare I match my face so well? How dare I? Dude, do they not put the little freaking powder in my freaking bag? Yes, they did. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and use this Color Co setting powder. This was $4. The powder feels fine. It feels very soft and lightweight. Okay, I'm a little scared. 
Okay, we're just gonna take this little sponge. We're gonna set our under eyes with this so we can set the rest of our face. It's a very soft, like lightweight powder. It's like almost like, wow, it's like very translucent. It's hard to see. You can see I'm obviously mattifying, but it's not crazy at all, which I really like. We're gonna go ahead and use that on the face and set our whole face. By the way, you guys, I am liking the foundation. I think it's really pretty. And what's funny is that recently I have been really, really, really dry in my face and it's been kind of concerning because I'm oily, like naturally I'm very oily. So it's really, really strange that I'm like getting dry at all. I don't get it. I came back from Utah recently and when I got back, I was super dry from the weather and like I'm not recovered from my dryness yet. Why does the powder look really nice? Set it nicely, super lightweight, very non cakey at all. Are we a little shook? Yeah, we are. So next, you guys, we're gonna go in with the Pro Fusion Pro Contour Six Shade Contour Highlight Palette. These are all powders. Does this not give you KVD vibes? Like, <gasps> KVD, not Kevin D Beauty anymore. Strange, right? You can't tell me that's not a little strange. Let's feel them. Oh, extremely smooth. What the freaking hell? Very creamy, very $5. That's what I'm the, the really shook about. Okay, let's go and take some of it. Okay, I'll take this one. I'm gonna put that into our bronzing areas. I'm gonna go ahead and obviously review these products based off of like what they were priced as well. Like this was $5 with this much product. Like, is it gonna be worthy of a $5 mark? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it gonna be as good as KVD? Most likely no, but for $5, bitch, hello and we just rhymed. Like this is working really well for $5. I mean, the powders aren't sticking as well to the skin as I thought they would, but once you really like, you know, finesse them in, they're sticking. I'm just mixing the two left shades. You cannot tell me that's not like really good though. Like profusion, what the hell? I'm assuming all these products here are made in China, which is not bad at all. It's totally fine. I don't mind as long as the product works good. I don't really care where it's made. But that's why it's obviously able to be the price points that they are. What do you guys think? I'm bronze, bitch. And honestly, it looks fucking good. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. Now let's go and take one of the under eye ones, the brightening ones. Taking the left side one, the pinky one. Just wanna see if you guys can tell the difference compared to the right side. Bitch, I can. Baby girl, I can. And the weird thing about this too is that it's not heavy on my under eye. Like it's, it's really lightweight. I mean, mind you, it's very powdery when I'm like very, look at the kick up. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Obviously you can see it's very, very heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy on the face at all. It's not like it doesn't make you feel dry in any way. It doesn't feel like it's crazy amount of powder. Obviously we'll like dust away some so it doesn't look crazy and too vampire-y, obviously. But it bright, bitch, it, bitch, it brightened. You guys, what is happening? All these little $5 makeups so far are like really, Coming in clutch, I would say. Obviously I went, okay, I might have gone a little ham on the under eye highlight browners. I might have, I may have. However, but you cannot tell me this is not bright underneath the eyes, like it's, it worked. Look at the middle of my forehead. Maybe that is a disco ball if I've ever seen one. Again, another product I'm very impressed with. I'm very impressed so far as we're going in like with these products. Next, we're gonna go in with this little blush palette from Cheeky Mix, Little Mix. Makeup collection. No, it's not little mix. It's just, it's called, oh, the Color Workshop is what the brand is. Gosh, it feels like real force. Wow. And it comes with a beachy brush. Is it a good brush? No. Battle, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And I'm a beggar. So let's see, we have our Cheeky Mix one. Oh, the little falling like stars. That's adorable. What a cute little hint of thought. What did I just say? The white one? Ooh. <laughs> Feels a little not good. Oh wait, that one felt really good. Oh, so you're just gonna confuse me, I see. Uh, no, it's fine, okay, it's fine. The colors are horrendous, I would say, up here. These guys, I don't know who would wear that color, that color, that color, or that color. Who is doing that? Okay, we're just gonna mix all the blushes, like these three over here, and just see if we can get a blush on our faces with that little blush brush. So now that we've gotten to a Theachismosa pink, we're gonna keep it going. Oh, sweet God. Yeah, that's so basically. The only one that's actually gonna be able to show up on the skin is the bright pink one. The other two are so light, you cannot even see it on the skin. So you have to really add in that pink one to get any kind of color payoff. And it's looking very chalky. Oh my God, I look like a Duvaline. 
Chalk City. That blush was Chalk City, I'm not gonna lie. We just got back from Chalk City. That was horrible. Whoa, wow, wow. Let me just go ahead and start, you know, patting and trying to save ourselves right now. Maybe we can just kind of pat it in and we can survive. Tell me I do not look like your Theachi Smosa at the fucking barbecue with your Theos. You know I do. It's pretty fucking bad. Now we're gonna go in with our Smoke and Mirrors $4 Blend and Glow Illuminate and Bronze. There was, I could not find a single highlighter there. There was one palette I saw that was actually gorgeous, but it was used. It was used, I couldn't buy it. I was like, this is disgusting. But we have this big motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like a little eggs. Bitch, why do we got some sunny side eggs up on here? That's a fucking egg. That is an egg. You cannot say it's not. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Obviously the here, it's like a glow, right? You guys can see that glowy layer that's going on. Right where I swatched it, it's missing. The glow's gone. The fucking glow is gone completely from there. And it probably won't even highlight anymore. What? So only the top layer glows. Oh my God, it's already gone. Okay, we're just gonna try to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're just gonna use that right now. It's very bright. <laughs> it's very bright for what, like, for what it is. I'm a little shocked. It's very powdery though. It's like the most powdery, yellow ass, cooking eggs ass looking ass highlighter I've ever seen. I don't even have words. I don't have words, dude. Like I'm at a loss for words and that doesn't happen to me often. I am a talker and here I am silent and flat chested. Hmm. Okay, listen. So I'm gonna swatch the areas that don't have glimmer on it anymore. And it's literally a matte gray color. And I'm very confused right there. A matte, Oh my God, because it's fucking bronzer, dude. That's horrible. Mm, I'm genuinely devastated. <laughs> I am, I really am. Just gotta blend in a little bit. Avoid, avoid. You guys can see the gray in it. Like, I don't know what, a, a fucking shape. It's a shapeshifter. We have a shapeshifter in our mist. Get. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with the eyebrow gel. We have a $3.25 espresso brown. Eyebrow gel. That looks like a red brown. Espresso brown. You would think espresso brown is like a really dark chocolatey brown. That's more of a neutral undertone because you know espresso. But I think we have a, oh, it's like reddish. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna try it. We're gonna stop talking shit and we're just gonna try it. Oh my God. So I will say that this brow gel is uh, Play-Doh, I would say. It's very Play-Doh-like. It's very chunky. It's kind of hard to work with. It moves very strangely. Oh my God. It's a weirdly sheer. Oh my God, it's so dark. Oh my gosh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to throw that in there and throw it back. Okay, the color isn't as terrible as I thought it was going <laughs> to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe up. It feels like, ew, it feels weird. I don't like it. I don't even have words for this product. It feels very strange. I mean like on camera, I'm sure it looks just fine, but it's very like Play-Doh-y. It feels very hard, but it's very like sheer. For like a, a brow gel, it like almost like, I don't understand you. It's weird, it has like an oil to it. It's like oily. For 325, like what can you fucking expect? I'm gonna go do the other brow and prime my lids and we'll be back for the eyes. <sighs> I'm terrified. And I have a fucking pimple right there. It's kind of cute highlighted though, you have to admit, huh? Like it's sweet, it's sweet. Okay guys, so I actually had to carve out my brows to make them look even remotely decent. And I haven't had to carve a brow out in so long on the top too. It took me to such a dark place. <laughs> look. <laughs> Okay, so for eye palettes, we have two. This one I saw a second, and I was like, wait, this is Color Story from Color Co. Rose Quartz, it's $5 for a pressed pigment palette. Look at this. This Color Story is actually really fucking cute. It reminds me of like a Huda palette. Like, maybe because it's like 18 pans, so it reminds me of like a Huda palette. That's cute as fuck, isn't it? I haven't tried them, obviously, because it was completely sealed. Copper. Mm. 14 karat gold. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Carrot. Some of these are really nice, Tara. Wow, I'm realizing that the powders are more the wins here. So far, we have this little palette here. I thought it was really cute, just like this little, oh my God, this reminds me of like a mini version of the Tati palette. Like it's the like same color story, but with a matte and like a shimmer. Hmm, that's kind of cool. We have this 
chunky shade. Holy freak. Oh my God, these are so chunky. <gasps> no, 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 no. I can't. We're definitely gonna use the rose quartz. You're a gem with no mirror. But that's also why they got so cheap. It's literally five dollars. But like between that little other palette and this one, like there's a noticeable difference with the quality. Like this one's much, much better. Of course, there's like no transition shade in here at all. We're just have to go in with like a dark ass shade right away. Let's go in with Aura. Actually, you know, that's a good transition shade. We'll go with Aura first. And that's going on a Morphe M533. And it's just like a really soft pink. This is gonna be my transition shade. I like to do transition shades when blending out shadows, especially shadows that are gonna be a little bit more bold. I just need the extra help to blend them. For me personally, and it's just kind of like my style of makeup, how I enjoy to do it. So you can see there's like a soft, subtle pinkness on my crease. Right there, see that? It's just soft. It's soft, subtle, dainty, like me. Oh, it's like me. Now we're gonna go in with the shade, oh my God. Let's do carrot. Oh shit, you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Why is that low-key slapping? Oh! What the fuck? Okay, so we're just gonna do that into the crease area. As you can see, it's like more of a bold shade, so I wanna just have like another low transition neutral shade down there. So I can blend into that one. Also, it's blending just peachy. Huh, Color Co, who are you? What are you? What are you? That's stunning. Okay, let's go in with the shade Prized next, which is next to Carrot. It's like on the left side. And that's just gonna help deepen for us. This one, not nearly as pigmented or as vibrant as the Carrot one is. We're just gonna just add some depth to it, but it's, it's not as pigmented, it's just not as good as a shadow. Like even like right away going on, you can just tell it's not as nice as the other one. So the, I guess with this kind of palette, you guys, it's more of a hit or miss. There's It's more hit or miss shadows in here. Not all of them are gonna be absolutely like nice, but some of them really are, like obviously as you can see. But for $5, you really can't like complain. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. There's 18 shades in here for $5, what the fuck? Like you, ha like that's crazy, like that's wild. So let's go in with the shade Rare and that'll be our last like matte shade in here. <gasps> fuck, that's not even picking up at all. It's almost like pressed too hard. And that's gonna be, it's like a, more of a purple shade. No, that one's flopping, dude. Flop, 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 flop. That was the shade right here. And you would think that would be really deep and dark. Ooh, horrendous. Prize was this one, another horrend, both horrendous. Wow. Of course, like the two dark shades I go in with are like horrible and won't even pick up. Wow, 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 okay. Garnet, Carrot, Terra, those were all really nice. Let's see if Onyx, the black one is like decent. It's okay. Let's go ahead and try it with that shade, just kind of add some depth to it because it is looking, yeah, it's definitely better for sure. Better than the other shades, but it's also supposed to be a black, it's fucking Onyx for goodness sakes. The other darker shades were horrible. Nothing even came up and it was so, so sheer, but this is definitely like way better. So these shades, obviously it's a hit or miss. Like you, like if you like one of the shadows, great. If you don't, great. Like some of them are really nice and pigmented and smooth. Some of them were uh, horrible. And so I think it's just gonna be a hit or miss when it comes to that. Well, let's go ahead and go in with a shimmer shade. I just wanna see how it performs and then we'll go over it with the eye glitter. But like this shade Moonstone right here is stunning. Stunning on my finger. What the fuck is that? The copper was swatched gorgeously. That's definitely better than the other one was, but that's still horrible. Huh. Okay, it's $5. Bitch, it's $5. Let's all calm it down. Let's all take a deep breath. It's $5. Don't be a bitch. And I'm reviewing this to say if it's worth $5, not if it's worth 50. Okay, so that's what that is. And now let's go in with these eye lights. I was really intrigued by these. These were $5, of course. And uh, Color Story is the brand that did these. They're like large. I like that, I like large. Let's go in with this shade right here, this liquid eyeshadow in the shade. I mean, you know I'm not gonna find a shade on here, huh? Why am I trying? Baby, you know I'm not finding a shade name on here. Ma'am, that's a, a liner. Is it a liner? What the fuck? Okay, that's really gorgeous though, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna just put it all over our lid. Cause I'm actually very interested in this. Holy shit! That is stunning. It's a really weird applicator. I hate that application so, so, so much. But look how bright and like metallic that is. Holy! Uh, 
Okay, um, maybe we can like blend some of it a little bit. Does it move a little bit with us? It does move a little bit. Very little. Gotta work quick. Gotta work quick. Help. Okay, we're just gonna blend that a little bit into the lid, into the crease. Let's let this dry down because it's feeling a little sticky on my lid still. Please tell me this dries down. Please tell me it does or I'll scream. Ew, this one's weird. This is a weird one. It looks like a fucking whale dick or something weird. That is not the tea. So that one's not the tea. It's very, very sheer. They shouldn't have done, done that color at all. And kept it with just the metallic -y one. Oh my God, my eye feels, my eye feels very dry. Oh my God. I almost like I can barely like move it. It's like, ooh. Oh my God, it feels like a liquid lipstick on my eyelid. Do I see my wrinkles? It's making wrinkles where I don't have them. It's drying out my lid. It's completely drying it out. Wow, the effect is gorgeous, but it's drying me out like completely and it's making my eye heavy. What? Let's go in with some eyeliner. I just wanna see what it looks like over this eye situation we have going on. This one, it was of course $5. And then it came with a pack of other pencils. So let's see how, oh my God, my eye literally feels like tight as fuck. I've never felt this for liquid shadow. Like it's, it feels so terrible. Holy fuck, it's gonna be a bitch to take off, I can already tell. Okay, we're gonna go in with our little black. Oh, that's very black. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, bitch. Bitch, that is black. Don't judge me, I'm not good at doing liquid liner like this. Don't judge me. And that is that on that. This color workshop liquid eyeliner is so dark and so full coverage. I'm actually very impressed. My eye looks pretty, it looks pretty on camera, but I'm not over how crusty this eye lights is. Like I'm in, oh my God, even my hand feels dry, you guys. It creates wrinkles in your skin and it evaporates all moisture. It's dry. Oh, it's so not, wait, you're kidding. It's not dry yet? What? What? Dry. What is happening? What is happening? my little eye fucking shutting because it's fucking dry. It's gonna be a fucking raisin by the time this fucking video is over. Okay, now let's try. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera, you guys, and see what the fucking tea is on this side, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought I'd turn on the camera really quickly to show you guys the other option, which is the glitter eyeshadow option as well, which is the eyes glitter and glow eyes. On this side. I'm so scared. Ooh, that looks more promising though. Even this applicator already looks more promising. Oh! You know what, this is not bad. Is it good? No, not really. But is it bad? No, it's not bad. That's not bad at all, dude. It's very sheer though, I will say. It's very, very lightweight and sheer. It's not as like full coverage. Let's go ahead and see how that dries down and does it, will it suck out all the moisture of my lid? We'll find out right now. But it looks cute. Not bad at all, actually. Very impressed. Huh. Let's just watch another one. Not bad either, dude. Look. Huh. Huh. Okay, that's drying down. Cute, cute, cute. I'm not gonna obviously try to match the eyes in any way, shape, or form. I'm just testing product right now. It's not like I'm trying to take a photo in this after. I'm really not. Smoke and Mirrors Mascara Trio. <laughs> we have three mascaras. We have lengthening, volumizing, and curling. Let's do curling. That's the one I'm, I need the most usually. I will say that's a component. It's a, kind of adorable to me. Is it kind of cute? Shank someone with it. I mean, it's cute, right? I have a curling. Oh my god, it looks like an up tilted. You know what? This is a PG 13 channel. It's not R. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it's R as well. Okay, I'm gonna go and curl my lashes to give it a fair try. We're gonna do it on this side. Also, this feels really nice. Feels really, this feels normal. This feels great. It feels like any other liquid shadow that would be on my eyelid would feel. The one on the right still feels like it sucked out the life of the children or else it's kittens. Like, I literally feel like fucking. Winifred Sanderson and this eye is being sucked dry. Okay, let's go and try the mascara, the curling mascara, and see what the tea is. This is four dollars, by the way, for the three. What's happening? Nothing? You're right. <gasps> I just ruined my work of art. Okay, so literally, this mascara is goop. I don't, okay guys, this is the tea. Okay, here's my fucking real fucking tea. Why come out with a product that does not work? And if this is a curling mascara, why is it making my lashes go downwards and actually go lower than they were before? That's what I would like to know. Horrible, 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 horrible. Where did my life go wrong? I don't know exactly. 
That was probably the worst mascara I've ever tried. This, that's going in the basura. Okay, so we also got some lashes from here and it was $5. And uh, for several, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six pairs. You know, some of them look promising. I would say like that one looks the most promising right here, the second one. But because I already feel so defeated with how fucking pinchy ugly I look, I think I'm just gonna move on to the lip and be done. Yeah! We're gonna go in with this product. This is the Matte Lips by Style Essentials. And honestly, the packaging, like, it's actually really cute. And we're gonna go and try it out. It comes with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick, which I actually really appreciate that they came out with both. Lip lining first. Okay, we have the sharpest lip liner ever. The driest lip liner ever in my whole existence. So we really want to hurt ourselves for this. Okay. No, it's fine. If you guys didn't like feel my lips and how hard I am on going on this pressure right now, you would scream. No, okay, I'm hurting myself. I'm fucking hurting myself. Okay, the thing is like the, almost like the pencil, the creaminess of the pencil, it's like dissolving. So when I'm like putting it on, it bunches up, as you can see in the thing, it like bunches up and becomes like really weird looking. You see that? It's like unusable. It's like, how am I gonna do a lip line when it bunches and it becomes like whack-a-doodle? No. Horrible. Wow, okay, there were some winners though. There were a couple winners so far. This is just, that lip liner was not one of them. <gasps> is that been used? <gasps> that was $3 actually. I think it's been used. Oh my God. I can't in my right mind put this on my lips when it's been used and probably abused. I just figured because it was sealed, I'd be fine. That's not the case, it was not fine. This is the color, it looked really pretty actually and it swatched pretty nicely. Look at that, are you joking? That's actually really nice. However, I cannot in my own conscious mind use this on my lips, I just can't. I feel weird about it, I just can't even do it. It looked promising, it's $3. I would say the lip liner was terrible, but the lipstick, it could be It could be a win. I'm not gonna use it. The color is actually really pretty. It's a good like deep medium pink like mauvey shade. But I can't use it, because I will sit my pants. And that is it for today's video. What do you think? Just, I have no words other than wow, really. Obviously the, the winning product of this video was Wet n Wild. Like they have a Wet n Wild section inside Five Below. I would definitely recommend going to that section if you guys find anything and you're like, okay, I want to try this out. Go to Wet n Wild and do it, please. Get it at Wet Wild. Ooh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I'm, I'm so crazy. We also have a setting spray. I don't know if that's gonna do a single thing. <laughs> Ooh, I've never looked so bad. I just wanna show you guys up close the cracking of the skin and the product just falling off and how wrinkled it gets. Also, how chunky the lip liner is. Just so you guys can see the gravity of the situation. Literally flaking off. Verdict. I would say you guys, honestly, as a whole, the makeup is so cheap, I really can't even like begin to comprehend the cheapness of this makeup and how it was made. Obviously it all feels very, very cheaply made, but if you are on a budget and you like want a quick thing, a quick moment, obviously like you guys can make the makeup work. I've made a lot of the products work here, but would I recommend it? Really? Not necessarily. There were a couple of products that I actually was very, very shocked by. So I would say the things that I would recommend that actually were pretty impressive for me were the Pro Contour Pro Fusion Palette and the little and the little glitter eyeshadow ones. These guys were actually pretty impressive when it came to all the products I actually bought. I did not recognize brand-wise. That's actually pretty impressive. Also, the Rose Quartz Palette, some of the shades were really nice. Some of them were really not nice. So it kind of just depends on your vibe. If it's worth the risk or not to like try to find a couple good shades in here, like is it worth it? Also, the little powder actually worked really nicely. The little setting powder, that was pretty good too. It set my face nicely. It feels very, very smooth, very creamy. Also, I would have loved to try that matte liquid lipstick, but again, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. All the other products were, I just wouldn't rec really recommend this. I'm shocked at how like it literally feels like almost painful on my eye. Like I feel like it'll just peel and crack right off as it's cracking off on me. I'm blinking and it's cracking. See that? There's like little, literal pieces cracking off. My, and the eyeliner's cracking off too. 
Bitch, it's all a mess. I think that the store in general, Five Below, is so freaking cool. And I love it. And I love it. I can buy random ass shit there. And you can go in there and like literally get lost for hours and just grab shit you don't even need. But I just wouldn't highly recommend the ma random makeup that's there because a lot of it did not work. Of course, it is $5. If $5 is worth it for you guys to buy something, absolutely fucking do it, dude. Do you spend your own coin? I'm just here to let you guys know that a lot of the products here did not work well for me and I did not like how they performed. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had so much fun filming it. I had an amazing, amazing time going to Five Below and shopping my little heart away. I loved it. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. <laughs> it's bronzed, bitch. Ding, ding, ding. When you tell me turn the lights on. I should stick to my day job, huh? On my... Shut up! Shut up! Subtle pinkness. Jesus Christ! These roads in LA need to be paved! Five on top. You wanna be on top? Oh, my back hurts. Oh my God, am I old? Yes, the answer is yes. I have the black lung. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna get this bitch started before I fucking microphone dies and I will lose my shit. <laughs> it's stunning. And I bought things I didn't even need. I'm gonna help myself. How am I supposed to help myself under that cute? Hmm? I'm scared of this shit. Ha! What's the point of coming out the product if it's basura? Now that I'm looking like a duva, a duva, looking like a duva. No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to speak. I don't want to look at you. Stop it.